Hello, my name is Ryan Odney, and today I'm going to be introducing to Gabi. Gabi is an attack surface mapping tool which can be used to find the attack surface of a device or, the ra or a range of devices on your network. There are many open source attack surface mapping tools or open source discovery tools out there that can be used to find a device on a network. One of the most popular ones is Nmap. The reason why Gabi is a, is a little more useful is because it gives a visual display to a user rather than how Nmap, as seen here on my Kali machine, just gives you terminal, gives you the view in a terminal and just text, rather than giving you something to look at. Another good thing about Gabi is it's available on three different OSs. It's available on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Now I'm gonna go jump into the dashboard of Gabi, but before I do that, I wanna mention that Bef when you install Gabi, make sure that you have, for a Windows machine, you want to have NPCAP installed. So that is the way that Gabi is able to pull information and display it into its dashboard. As seen here, the dashboard is very, very clear and gives you a lot of information. It can tell you what the hardware of a machine is, the hardware vendor, the software, the vendor, the software vendor, the IP range, the port, and vulnerability centers related to it. In the case here on the scan that I ran, it just found three active IPs and couldn't really figure out what the hardware or any of the, any ports or vulnerabilities were found on it. To run a scan, it's fairly simple. All you need to do is just hit that plus sign in the corner. And in the case for here, it is auto-filling my IP range and then telling that, hey, it's on an enterprise machine. So test the enterprise ports. And just once you hit start, it will immediately start going. And as you see in the bottom, it gives you a little percentage here where you, this is where you could stop it, which I'll do right now because I already ran the scan before and I already know what the results are going to be. So I'm going to jump in and show you the results on my other scan. So Gabi will give you a report of your scan. And this report is the same thing you would see on the dashboard, but it is a way that you can download it and give it to your executives so they can see what you are doing rather than having just have them look at the dashboard. And in the report it gives you the information of what the task what task what the task was and what it was looking for. And it was going over the general POC, which is the vulnerabilities that are categorized in Kabi. And since it had didn't find any vulnerabilities, there was no risk and no like stats on that. But it gives you a nice little IP matrix, which is going through all the different IPUs on the range. And you can see that it found the active IPs was 78, 157, and 229. Gabi also gives you the ability to add extensions to your to your dashboard. These extensions can help give you a give you more information on the attack surface of something you're scanning. As this mapping tool here can help give you more information on the map on your on your scan and help query stuff better. Or in this case there's another there's a Metasploit framework, one that which will add in the Metasploit framework vulnerabilities into the scan and help find vulnerabilities from that. Here in the assets tab, it tells you what IPs were given and, or in this case, the active IPs and can give you more information on that. On the right tab, there are some useful features too, like the history task, which will tell you what, what you recently ran and what or what the progress they're at. The IP library can be very useful if you are if you don't know an IP for certain host, you can put in a URL over here and start to scan, and then it will try to find IPs for that URL that you just gave. If there, there's also stats that we can give you. In the case, this network structure diagram, which will not work for my scan because it was running on a it was running an IP range on a virtual machine and it did not find any host or anything, so it doesn't know how to structure that. But it does have a an IP matrix, which was seen in the report, saying which IPs were active and on. If you want to see the logs in the machine over here in the bottom right, you would 
see the logs and the event logs. Since there's no event logs, there will be none there, but there are logs to the machine. The last thing I'm going to be covering is the POC management. This is pretty much where all your vulnerabilities are that the scan that the scan is you or that Gabi is using, because Gabi will ha has a library of things that will scan each IP that it finds to see if any of these vulnerabilities relate to that IP. And if it does, it will give you a notification saying, "Hey, this IP is a critical or this IP is experiencing a critical vulnerability. You might want to fix it. And here is how this vulnerability can be fixed." As right here. As you can see, the 74 CMS SQL with uh, Ajax Common, it will give you description and impact, and if there is a solution, it will give you the solution to it. I hope that everyone has learned something today about Gabi, and have a nice day.